Welcome to the What Caregivers Need to Know video show brought to you by eCareDiary.com. I'm Susan Baida, co-founder of eCareDiary and your host for today's show. Uh, today we're going to fo focus on uh, services and resources offered by the National Library of Congress uh, for the blind and physically handicapped. And uh, direct from the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh, it, we have Devin Evans. And Devin is the Public Services Librarian for Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh's Library for the Blind and Physically Handicapped. She oversees programming, new patron registration, and assists with outreach. And you can find more information about the library at carnegielibrary.org backslash LBPH. Um, and the national site for the Library of Congress is www.loc.gov backslash NLS. Welcome, Devin. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. And um, please tell us about these resources. And, you know, I noticed that um, they're for the blind and physically handicapped, but they could be useful for seniors as well, right? Uh, yes, more than half of our patrons are seniors age 65 and older. So our services can benefit a wide range of people. It could be someone who has trouble reading standard size newsprint or someone who has trouble holding a book for a long period of time or turning pages. That's great. Um, so tell us what the library offers for uh, seniors, the blind, and physically. Sure. My program is through a nationwide network through the National Library Service for the Blind and Physically Handicapped, and that's overseen by the Library of Congress. So the services that I offer are really available in any state. And everything we do is free of charge since it's a federal government program, and most of what we do is through the mail. So everything is shipped postage free back and forth to our patrons. And right now in our collection, we have about 80,000 titles on audio and around 14,000 titles in large print. And we're a popular lending library, so we have a lot of bestsellers and mysteries, romances and westerns, and we have a lot of popular authors as well, like James Patterson and Louis L'Amour and Daniel Steele and Jody Picot. But in addition to the audiobooks, we also provide audio magazines. We have over 30 subscriptions that we offer. And these are popular titles as well, like National Geographic and Sports Illustrated. And we have um, good housekeeping too. So for the audiobooks and audio magazines, we provide audio playback equipment to listen to the audio materials with. And we also provide accessories like headphones and if the player ever breaks or it malfunctions, just send it back to us. We replace it for free. And for our more computer savvy patrons, we do have an online site that you can download audiobooks and audio magazines from. And that site has tens of thousands of titles. So to listen to those, you can either use our playback equipment or you can use an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone. But in my opinion, the greatest service we have to offer is our knowledgeable readers advisory staff. So we have quite a few readers advisors who work with our patrons either over the phone or in person and they can really tailor the service to meet the patron needs. They can adjust your profile to make sure that you get the materials you want, whether it be a mystery or a history book. They can tailor it to which authors you'd like and they can even make it so that you get as many books as you want, whether that be two books at a time or 20 books at a time. I have to say I'm so fascinated by this because uh, I have a father who is uh, blind in one eye and um, he's always asking me about devices that um, he needs, you know, to, to improve his reading, but uh, I don't think I was aware of the uh, services available at the local library to help seniors with reading issues or, you know, vision issues, so I'm thrilled to hear about this. Um, I guess we know that we can benefit from Yeah, since it's a nationwide program through the Library of Congress, there is an application process that you have to go through. Most of the application is questions about what sorts of authors or subjects you're interested in. But there is a spot on the application where we need somebody official to certify that they're in need of the service. 
So that could be a doctor, a registered nurse, a social worker, a rehabilitation therapist, a librarian, an activities director. There's re really a wide range of people who can certify. And, you know, our service not only benefits seniors, but it also benefits their caregivers as well. We hear from so many patrons how the books keep them company and they help keep their minds sharp. So I think that gives the caregivers peace of mind knowing that the ones they care for are enjoying reading again, which is something they might have thought was lost to them forever. Fantastic. And I, I, I think I'm especially surprised about the magazines because I have heard about large print books and audio, but um, I had no idea that magazines were available, so that's great news. Anything else you'd like to share about maybe other types of uh, materials available? Or, what, or maybe anything specific that you do here in Pittsburgh? Uh, sure, we do you know, a lot of outreach to make sure that people know about our services and we also work together with the Carnegie Library to promote their services as well. So uh, we're really lucky to have the Carnegie Library as well as the Library of Congress overseeing our facility. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Evan. This has been very informative. And again, if you have any questions or you'd like more information, you can go online at carnegielibrary.org. That's for the uh, Pittsburgh uh, location, carnegielibrary.org backslash LBPH, specifically about this program. And for the National Library of Congress site, visit www.loc.gov backslash NLS. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.